All right, man. Well, heading off to uh, UTSA. So uh, what are your thoughts about where your team stands heading into uh, this week after winning a couple of games in a row? Yeah, I feel good about where we're at. We've put together uh, good weeks of practice. And I think that's uh, one of the key things um, for the most part. Uh, just trying to stay guys in the entire week's been the biggest challenge uh, through it all, uh, obviously. And um, that's kind of where you get towards the end of the week. Uh, it, can get, it can get hairy at times, but uh, the kids have persevered through it. Uh, felt like uh, we had some guys out this past weekend, but felt like our team came together and um, you know showed some grit. Uh, having to fight out a win like that against a good Rice team uh, was big for us. And, um, you know, now we get an opportunity to go on the road against one of our rivals in this conference and a really good football team, and uh, we're looking forward to the challenge. What's the feeling like to, be, to have won two straight games after what you guys kind of went through just on and off the field over the last couple of weeks? Well, it's big. I mean, again, uh, that's, the, that's the main objective, right, is to go out and compete and play well and, and find a way to win games. In the last couple uh, games, we've been able to grind it out and do that. Um, you know, haven't played uh, by any means perfect. I still don't think we uh, we've peaked yet. I still think we can um, continue to get those live game reps, uh, continue to get better, and uh, hopefully, as uh, this uh, last three game stretch kind of uh, in and out the the regular season, uh, we can uh, we can get to where we can peak and, and start playing on a high level in all three phases. What have you seen from UTSA's defense? Um, it's um, obviously held people to a low number this season. Just uh, how would you describe the defense and what they do? I think the first thing they do, they play really hard. Um, you know, they play hard and get guys running the football. Uh, they're a physical group, uh, and not just up front, but on the back end, you see uh, safeties coming down, fitting the run, uh, and hitting hard. So uh, they play, uh, they, they do a great job in their scheme. Um, it's not too uh, dissimilar from what we are really on, on offense or defense. Uh, you know, I think uh, we're, we're, we have some similarities in, in what we do. And so, um, you know, again, I think they're well coached. Uh, coach, coach has done a great job there in his first season. Uh, he's got him to six wins uh, uh, and have played now 10 games. And so uh, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's one of those matchups, again, each and every year. These kids will be excited to play each other. Uh, they know what it means. And uh, they got a good club, and we're, we're looking forward to going and competing. You said it's kind of a rivalry game. I asked uh, Coach Trailer about that this week as well. Do you think that's something that's kind of starting to, to crop up, just the rivalry between these schools? I think so. I mean, it has been for me since I've been here anyway. I don't know what it was in years past, but uh, for me, I look at it that way. I know our players do. Uh, this, is, this is a game that I think both sides get up to play for each and every year. And, um, you know, uh, I think it'll be two good teams out there competing. And, uh, you know, we just got to make sure we can uh, – Eliminate mistakes and hopefully execute better. That's what it comes down to each and every week. But uh, you know, I, again, we're excited about the opportunity to to be able to play a game this week again. And you guys are suddenly in this thing, but just the way it worked out. I mean, the other side of the conference has one team that's you know kind of run away with it, Marshall. But on the West here, everybody's got. Uh, there's several teams that have multiple. And have multiple losses. Do you guys feel like you're right in the thick of this thing heading into this week? Well, I think you know you control what you can, and that's making sure you go out each and every week and uh, hopefully stack wins upon uh, on top of each other. And then uh, I think if you finish out the season the right way, uh, it'll take care of itself. Since Hugh McCormick is in the middle of a great season, I think he's one of the top rushers in the league. What kind of challenges does he present? Well, I think he's one of the best rushers in the country. I think he does a great job getting downhill. He has great vision, but he plays uh, extremely physical um, at that position. He gets his pads down, and he can run through you. He can run around you. He can make the plays. And, uh, you know, they do a great job of getting him the football. Uh, they're going to feed it to him. And uh, he's very durable, uh, which is uh, key at that position. And uh, he's had a phenomenal uh, season thus far. And I know, uh, again, I think he's one of the better players in our conference. Are you expecting uh, Trey Siggers to play? Or I don't know his situation or anything, but just uh, him to play next week? Yeah, he should be available. I mean, it's, okay. again, it's Tuesday, so okay. he yeah, should I just be available. Him. All right, sweet. Um, offensively, uh, you kind of mentioned or after the game, get, getting, getting things going earlier. What do you feel like you can do for, for Jason to kind of get him settled in a little quicker? Uh, 
going into this game? Well, I thought we just didn't make plays early. Uh, and it wasn't just Coach, I mean, it wasn't just Jason. Uh, you know, we got to make plays out there for him, too. Uh, we got to catch the football and, you know, uh, got to get our run game going a little quicker. And uh, just, I think we need to start a little faster. I don't think we had the start that we were looking forward to. And I, I think as coaches, maybe we uh, earlier, we need to maybe call some better things, too. So it's all of us. It's something uh, we'll continue to work on and stress. and. Um, you know, we, we uh, obviously are, are trying to get out there and, and get the momentum early and uh, point, put points up on the board. Uh, the last two games haven't worked out that way, but again, they've grinded through it and found ways to, you know, get give yourself a chance there in the second half, hopefully wear them down. And uh, I think the last couple of games, I think we have. I think we've wore, wore our opponents down and uh, been able to chop wood there in the third and fourth quarters. and. Uh, you know, be able to grind out those wins. And so that's been huge for us. Uh, we just got to start faster, though. Coach, how much um, overcoming human nature do you think um, the program is just in terms of getting us getting out to a slow start the last couple of games and then finishing very strong? Well, you're not going to start. I mean, you're not going to put touchdowns on the board every single drive, you know, in the first half, uh, you know, especially in the four, first quarter. Uh, in the past, we've been good at that. There's been times we've been good at that where we had had star, uh, fast starts. But I think the biggest thing is just executing early, going out and making your routine plays, not just being too hyped up or, uh, you know, trying to get a feel for what they're trying to do uh, at times. We just got to go out and, again, uh, our plays are built for uh, multiple uh, defenses and multiple coverages. And so just understanding where your answers are are important. Um, and, uh, you know, again, uh, yeah, we haven't started fast, but they've uh, been resilient and they've executed well throughout the, as the game went on. It got better and better on both sides and we just got to continue that uh, again we just we, we just got to stress starting to execute a little bit better early it's got oscar back this last week how big was that just to have him back out on the field and contributing for you guys well obviously when you have one of your better players back it's it's huge and um you know it only adds extra depth to that position uh you know he he hadn't played since what smu i think and so uh you know it'd been a, we had been 35 days. He's been he's been a, a couple months here or longer. I don't even know how many days that would be. But uh, felt like he handled it well. Got in there and ran the ball hard. Uh, you know, I'm sure there's a couple he wishes he would had back to where, um, you know, if you're in that rhythm late in the season, you're probably not going to miss some of those. But I thought he did a great job. And again, not only running the football, uh, I thought he stepped up and made some huge uh, uh, blocks and protection to where it gave uh, our quarterback time to get the ball on the field and make plays for us. It seemed like he stayed stayed ready. Was that the case when he was out? He was able to you know to, to stay game ready. Yeah, he he he's done a great job, and our strength coach of uh, all those guys who are out, they're going to stay game ready. They're going to continue to prepare and and making sure they're staying in football shape. And that's the mo biggest challenge, I would say, uh, especially when you're coming off a uh, you know injury or surgery you're having to have. Um, you know, just keeping your head in the grind, understanding that uh, the rehab's going to take care of itself, your body's going to heal, and you're going to uh, eventually be able to uh, get back. Um, so, you know, it uh, it just so happened to where we had some of those games early on canceled to where they're now at the back end of Thanksgiving now. So, uh, you know, he has he has three more opportunities. Uh, uh, you know, good Lord willing, he stays healthy. Uh, and so, you know, it, it's worked out for the best for him and uh, looking forward to getting back in there and, and around the rock. Has he really made an impact for you guys this season? I think he's done some great things. I think there's been a lot of guys that have. Uh, again, some young guys got to keep coming. Uh, I think he's done a lot of uh, really good things, you know, uh, understanding that what he's done in the past springs and, and fall camps, we've been really excited about Oscar. And, uh, you know, I think early half of the season, he proved why uh, we had that excitement. Um, you know, he's a, he's a guy that can go out there and, and uh, get downhill. He's a big load that can not only uh, run through you, but run around you, and he can make plays. And um, it's been fun to watch him. I know he's been chomping at the bit to get out there this season. I know last season didn't end the, the way he wanted it to. Uh, you know, we were going to play him there that last four to four games of the season. And um, as soon as we kind of got him rolling uh, this past year, uh, you know, he rolled his ankle, so he's out the last three games. It just worked out that way. And so I know he's been excited to be out there making plays. How well do you know Coach Trailer and uh, just what he does or his style or anything like that? 
obviously just you know through coaching and uh, you know we've been around each other uh, we talk on the phone uh, I think he's a great coach uh, a lot of energy I know um, you know he's uh, he's a really good ball coach and they got a great staff um, and so again the things that uh, you know, I think he's had an awesome first year um, you, you can really see his guys are playing extremely hard for him I think their culture's right and um, yeah he's, he's a great coach you know, see Tommy Perry on the other sideline again. Is that going to be a little? I know you, you kind of you, you play guys that you coach yeah. with all the time, but is that going to be a little different seeing him in well, a conference game? In this profession, it seems like every week we play somebody that we know pretty well, right? And mm -hmm. that's just kind of the way it's 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 been. Um, I played a lot of my friends, not only uh, on the different sides of staffs, but also head coaches and. Um, it's like anything. Once the once the game kicks off, uh, you're not thinking about who's over there coaching on the other side. Uh, you're focused in on your team and, and what you can do to hopefully give your, your team success. And so uh, I wish Tommy all the best. He was great while he was here, did a great job, and uh, I know he's doing a good job for them as well. Why do you senior day early? Um, that's when we had a plan. You know, we, at the beginning of the season, the Rice was our last home game. And so uh, just keeping it on the schedule the way it was, we've already had those plans. Uh, you know, families, and uh, it takes a lot of coordination with some, uh, with the different people, and so uh, why move it if you don't have to? I guess. I'm, and again, I, I guess let. That makes sense. Yeah, it was already planned that way. Oh, okay. I guess that makes sense because Bryce was that was technically was originally yeah. going to be your last home year. Okay. Yeah. That makes more sense. Do you have a, a handle on um, you know the way the NCA with the additional year of eligibility for guys? How you're going to handle that going forward? Well, I, th I think we have somewhat of a handle on it. Again, um, <laughs> you know, with how it, it's gone and, and uh, you know, with all the different stuff that's going on, uh, you know, just getting through the season and, and talking to each individual player and making sure that, uh, you know, some guys may not want to come back an extra year. Um, you know, some guys, you know, have aspirations of shooting on our team of, of a lot of things um, in a lot of different fields. And so, um, you know, you give them opportunities and, uh, you know, throughout the season, and we'll focus more on that, uh, you know, at the end of the year. But we have a pretty good grasp on it, yes. That's something you, you talk to each of those guys individually? Yeah, I think it's an individual uh, thing. You know, again, uh, everybody has the opportunity uh, on this free year uh, to come back. But at the same time, uh, you know, some guys, you know, may be ready to uh, move forward and get out in the real world. and. Um, you know, start doing some other things they've dreamed of in the past too. So, well, you know, I think we'll kind of focus in on that after uh, the season. So the money's there to bring those guys back if, if they want to come back? I, I haven't been told otherwise. Is that a difficult dilemma as a program to, to look at how you want to juggle your roster? I mean, you're, you're always in that in that rhythm of where you have that certain that 85 scholarships per year and all of a sudden you've got additional guys potentially coming back is that something you have to look at as a staff and figure out the best course to to handle that situation obviously yeah you're always looking at your roster management and uh, where your needs are where your holes are um, where your strengths are and so every year is different uh, every year different guys are, are coming and going um, you know, obviously this year, everybody's getting that free year. Some guys will, uh, a lot of guys will probably come back for another year. Some guys may not. And again, uh, some guys may be ready to move on to somewhere else. It, it's, there's so much that plays into it here in the next uh, two months. Uh, you have a good idea of where you stand, where you're at. Uh, but at the same time, uh, things are always changing. And, and it's, that's no different from, I don't care if it was last January where Everything wasn't different. Uh, it's always evolving. It's always changing. You always got to be prepared uh, to fill the holes or to fill the, uh, the needs that you have on your roster. And you're always uh, forced to uh, manage that. And that's why we have a great recruiting staff. Luke Valerius does a great job, uh, you know, and so along with his staff. And so he's always on top of it. And we, we constantly look and, and talk through it. You going to smash any watermelons this week? Watermelons. You didn't, did you see that story with the Cowboys? No. What was it? I haven't watched any TV here lately. I've been focused on UTSA. What happened? No, it was just a funny story. The Cowboys, uh, McCarthy brought in a whole uh, load of watermelons from uh, Texas, 
and brought in a bunch of sledgehammers. They all got together in the locker room and smashed uh, watermelons before the games with sledgehammers and then went out and won. Well, sure. Maybe we need some watermelons. You buying? I don't know, man. Maybe a good idea. I just thought it was a funny story. I think, you ought to, I think you ought to get us a whole bunch of watermelons. I'm sure they'll appreciate that down there at UTSA if we're smashing watermelons in the locker room. But uh, We are to be sponsored. Let's go. <laughs> I know, man. That was a great story. They went out and smashed a bunch of watermelons so they went out and won. Good stuff. All right. I'll do your door there, but I appreciate the time, man. I appreciate y'all. Happy Thanksgiving. Thank you, Coach.